Today's a demonstration for Marine Corps leadership regarding Group 1 assets. Uh, those are WASP, Raven, and Puma, uh, small UASs. This informed the leadership about the family systems that the Marine Corps currently has and the capabilities that those assets bring. Several advancements have uh, taken place uh, in unmanned aerial systems and their tactics, techniques, and procedures. These are systems that are organic to companies, platoons, and below. They weigh less than 20 pounds, and they're all actually operated by a common ground control station. Group 1 UAS, they're uh, small uh, unmanned aircraft systems, and they're used for over-the-hill reconnaissance, uh, surveillance of uh, targets of interest, or just in general uh, intelligence uh, of the battle space for battalion and below. Now, situational awareness is everything. We don't have the large uh, groups of troops that we have uh, in the past. Uh, having situational awareness of, of, of what's out in front of you makes you that much more capable to react to it. And, you know, if you know what the enemy's doing, you're already ahead of the enemy. In the case of a, uh, of a Group 1 UAS, it's organic to the battalion and below level units, so it's something that they can take with them, employ that uh, asset when they choose, uh, at the time of their choosing. Uh, it's portable, so they can put it in their backpack, they can take it with them, and they can operate it again at their time of choosing. The gimbaled Ravens, the Wasp, and the Pumas have a dual electro-optical for daytime, which is a daytime television camera, or an infrared camera for nighttime. A lot of times that uh, they'll uh, do a route reconnaissance, they'll fly along a road to make sure that the road is clear, that there are no IEDs, that uh, there are no potential ambush points. And they get a visual look at what is out in front of them. Again, information and, and understanding the battle space is, uh, is, is something that that battlefield commander desperately needs and wants, and, uh, and the UAS fills a, a small portion of that need, uh, both in day and, and nighttime. If I wanted to know what was going on outside my visual range, rather than get out on the patrol and go, go look at it myself, if I can just fly a, fly a UAS out and over and, uh, and see it, then that, that's a definite plus. I don't know why you would, would not want to do it that way.